Hello, I'm Penny and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm trying something new today. Uh, the other day I came here to do a sunset which never happened. Uh, it just got grey. Um, but just as I was about to drive home I looked up and there was um, starlings roosting so that was quite exciting it's never some, something I've never seen uh, in real life only on the telly and I always thought I was gonna have to drive to Brighton to see that uh, so I've come back on a nicer day uh, to see if I can capture this now this is gonna be different to doing landscape photography um, I have stuck with a tripod though because it just makes life a lot easier so we've got um, a tripod set up uh, and my 24 to 105 lens uh, I've, at the moment I it's one of those things when you're waiting for an event and you try and be organized but actually until it happens uh, things might change but at the moment I'm on quite a wide angle and I'm going for manual focus uh, instead of automatic because they're going to be just moving backwards and forward uh, and at the moment I'm on f4 4.5 4 uh, because they do it at sunset which is really inconvenient because it's too dark but I'm gonna give it a go I don't know if any of the pictures are gonna work out particularly well uh, but I will show you the pictures and I am missing a beautiful sunset just to be prepared for when it happens so uh, the sunset I'm going to take you across the road try not to get run over mind you that would probably make a better YouTube video if I did It'd be much funnier um, so sunset is over there I don't know if you're capturing it you're definitely not straight the horizon is definitely going uphill a little bit but oh there we go I'm in silhouette now there we go let's try and get some light on my face is that better excellent but uh, when it starts happening I'm gonna try and get some video um, I'm not used to video this is very brand new to me so but we're gonna give it a go um, hopefully it works out quite well excellent quite excited I don't know if you can tell but it's very exciting anyway I'll speak to you again when it starts happening Well, what an experience. I've taken many photos of the starlings flying around. Hopefully um, I've captured something. It was definitely worth coming out to see um, for the experience alone. They really did show off tonight. Um, I will edit the photo and I'll show you how it my best I've taken lots but the one that I like the best um there is a chance that they're all not very good but I will show you whatever um and it would be great if you make some comments and if you have any suggestions uh that would be good at, as well um in the end uh as I was shooting 
uh, I had to adjust really my ISO as I went along so as the sun as it got darker and darker and darker I adjusted the ISO I started on 400 ISO um, shooting at about 320 shutter speed and f 4.5 and I think I ended up at 3200 ISO so and then just kept adjusting I shot in manual focus because there's no way I can, my camera was going to keep up with what was going on I just kept trying to keep check on it um, for the I have no idea really if the shutter speed is going to be right for uh, the picture but we're, I, until I see it on the computer and edit it I won't know um, and if I have made mistakes I will know what I've done wrong I think well I'll work it out and I will say so if you have a go then you can um, learn from my mistakes hopefully that's good um, thank you for watching this video all the way through and if you liked what you see please subscribe uh, and just carry on hopefully watching more content learning uh, from my mistakes as well as hopefully I managed to give some top tips uh, thank you much again I'm Penny and I will see you in the next video